For this documentary, we are discovering the opinions from the general public about teenage depression. We asked people in Hanley City Centre, Forest Park and Mind Zone placed in WRVS. What is your opinion on teenage depression? It's bad. I think that not many people focus on it and that we need to focus more on it because people don't have to live with it. It's just something that might be just for a point in their life and that's it. A lot of people in Stoke have it and that no one really knows much about it. Um, there's a lot of people with teenage depression in Stoke but nobody really knows unless they're mentioned. I think it's really sad that um, teenagers go through this because there's enough pressure of schoolwork and, and things like that. There's so much pressure that depression on top of all that is. Bad. I think teenage depression is really bad. Um, there's a lot of teenagers out there that um, are suffering from it, but they suffer in silence. And I think there's a lot of like, things that could be done to like, help people. It is that it's becoming more widespread. The older I get and the more aware of the condition, the more I realise that many people suffer with that condition around me. The problem is that teenagers don't really know how to recognise themselves because there's not enough emotional education. And there's no guide to parenting. If the parents don't recognise it, then the teenagers aren't going to recognise it, are they? Um, I think people just um, get it from the people around them saying like, things about them. If somebody called somebody a name, they'd react in it in strange ways. And then if it um, carries on, kind of builds up and then they kind of get really depressed. Depression is a, a growing problem. Um, can be triggered from breakdowns in family, breakdown in communication. Um, I also think cyberbullying seems to be a huge problem that's getting bigger and bigger with the um, way that a lot of young people are using the internet. What facilities do you think the council give to help these people? Camps. Camps? There's many facilities. There's, I know we've got Younger Mind and we have occasional counsellors, but they don't really do much. They just hover around the schools and they don't talk much. I don't really know what facilities are available for people with stoke and with depression. I think we've got a lot, really, and people don't like to go to them. Council. Yeah. Oh. Well, there's obviously MIND, which does a lot around sort of teenage depression and other sort of mental health issues, which helps because you can meet people with similar sort of experiences to you. But then there's also places like, though they're not specifically designed for like mental health issues, there's places like youth centres where like even if you've got just no friends, you can go to make friends. I think there's a lot of things that the cops do throughout the year. Um, there's a lot of like, things like Facebook and Twitter that raise awareness about teenage depression, depression, but I don't think there's actually anything in place to help the people who are suffering from it. Uh, I'm not really very aware of what the council facilities are currently. That's how much I think the council get involved. I know that they have budgets and they have limited budgets, but really, in a, one of the most deprived cities in the country, do I think they do a lot? No. Social clubs like this, um, like to help build up the confidence so they don't like do things that could harm themselves or not enough. I think more money needs to go on funding um, young people with depression as it'll help while they're young, hopefully they'll have less problems then as they develop and get older.